Hello, I'm Sam O'Sullivan, and I'm here to give you a reading of Sir John Wordsworth's elegiac stanzas. Uh, this poem was inspired by Sir George Beaumont's painting, Peel Castle in a Storm, which reminded Wordsworth of his brother, Captain John Wordsworth, who drowned with his ship, the Abergavenny, which sunk off the coast of England in February 1805. I was thy neighbour once, thou rugged pile. Four small weeks I dwelt in sight of thee. I saw thee every day, and all the while thy form was sleeping on a glassy sea. So pure the sky, so quiet was the air, so like, so very like was day to day. Whene'er I looked, thy image still was there. I trembled, but it never passed away. How perfect was the calm! It seemed no sleep, no mood which season takes away or brings. I could have fancied that the mighty deep was even the gentlest of all gentle things. <sighs> then if mine had been the painter's hand to express what then I saw and add the gleam, the light that never was on sea or land, the consecration, the poet's dream. I would have planted thee, thou hoary pile, Middle world, how different from this, beside a sea that could not cease to smile, on tranquil land, beneath a sky of bliss. Thou shouldst have seemed a treasure house divine, of peaceful years, a chronicle of heaven, of all the sunbeams that did ever shine, the very sweetest had to thee been given. A picture had it been of lasting ease, a Lysian quiet without toil or strife, no motion but the moving tide, the breeze, or merely silent nature's breathing life. Such in the fond delusion of my heart, such picture would I at that time have made, and seen the soul of truth in every part, a steadfast peace that might not be betrayed. So once it would have been, tis so no more. I have submitted to a new control, a power is gone, which nothing can restore. A deep distress have humanised my soul. Not for a moment could I now behold a smiling sea and be what I have been. The feeling of my loss will ne'er behold. This which I know. I speak with mind so. Then, Beaumont friend, who would have been the friend if he had lived, of him whom I deplore. This work of thine I blame not, but commend. The sea in anger, and that dismal shore. Oh, it is a passionate work, yet wise and well. Well chosen is the spirit that is here. That hulk which labours in the deadly swell. This rueful sky, this pageantry of fear. And this huge castle, standing here sublime. I love to see the look with which it braves, cased in the unfeeling armour of old time. The lightning, the fierce wind, the trampling waves. Farewell. Farewell, the heart that lives alone, housed in a dream, a distance from the kind. Such happiness, wherever it be known, is to be pitied, for it is surely blind. But welcome fortitude and patient cheer, and frequent sights of what is to be born. Such sights or worse as are before me here. Not without hope, we suffer, and we mourn. Don't give up hope, everyone.